Welcome to Friendly Magic Atheist. My name is Steve Boffman. Honest people are careful and scrupulous about how they present their academic credentials to the public. Ravi Zacharias, by stark contrast, has a demonstrated record of making stuff up, using it for as long as he can get away with it, and then withdrawing it when he gets caught. Here's my latest finding, the department that never existed. Ravi's claimed for decades that he was chair of the Department of Evangelism and Contemporary Thought at a place called Alliance Theological Seminary in New York. He makes the claim in published materials and in his memoirs. The first thing that made me suspicious was that when I googled Department of Evangelism and Contemporary Thought, the only results that came up referred to Ravi himself. If such a department existed, wouldn't it appear somewhere other than in Ravi's self-promotional materials? Yes, and it turns out that Ravi's department never existed. I hired a private investigator who visited the seminary. I also tracked down two professors from the time and one of Ravi's students, and I learned that Alliance Theological Seminary did not have departments at the time. It was too small. So right there we've caught Ravi in yet another deception, but it gets a lot worse. I contacted the human resources director at the seminary by email and we later talked on the phone and she told me that there was a story behind Ravi's negotiations with the seminary. Ravi's negotiated contractual title was chair and associate professor of evangelism. But she told me, and maybe she shouldn't have, that Ravi wanted the term contemporary thought in his contractual title, but that quote, the president was concerned about how this would look to others, unquote. She said it was important to Mr. Zacharias to have that title, but that the president did not permit it. Then how did Ravi Zacharias get the academic title chair of the Department of Evangelism and Contemporary Thought? It turns out that after he started teaching at Alliance, he became the chair of something called the Center for Evangelism and Contemporary Thought, which was an informal group, which was described to me by Dennis Hollinger, who's now president of Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary, as not a center in terms of a think tank, more of an opportunity for students to work with Ravi. Ravi's immediate successor at the center also confirmed to me that this was a non-academic title and one of Ravi's students from the time told me that the whole thing was quite informal. So what Ravi Zacharias did is he took an informal non-department, converted it into a department on his resume, and now has gotten an academic title that he never had of a department that never existed. But the intrigue continues. The Human Resources Director also pointed me to a school catalog which listed Ravi as Associate Professor of Evangelism and Contemporary Thought, and she told me that this did not reflect the President's wishes. Unfortunately, as soon as the seminary learned that I was not a friendly inquirer, they stopped answering any more questions. It's also disappointing that the Christian Missionary Alliance, which owns and operates the seminary, refused to answer any questions. They wouldn't even tell me whether there was a department or not. But hopefully, now that this issue has gone public, someone at Christian Missionary Alliance with integrity will take a look at that personnel file that's sitting there right as we speak in Nyack, New York at Alliance Theological Seminary and look to see if there was any hanky-panky that went on around how Mr. Zacharias acquired a title that according to the Human Resources Director, the President didn't want him to have. But if that never happens, at very least, we know that Ravi Zacharias has been caught making up a department that never existed. Hey, Ravi fan. Let's talk about Ravi Zacharias uh, and his lies about his credentials. Uh, you, you said, and I quote in your book, uh, Ravi's first act of blatant public deception was to refer to himself as the chair of a department that did not exist. End quote. Tell us more about that. Yes. Um, Ravi uh, put in his beginning, I don't remember the exact dates, but sometime in the 80s, uh, early 80s, Ravi was um, a professor. The one academic post he had was at a, a small seminary uh, called Alliance Theological Seminary. Ravi described himself as the chair of the Department of Evangelism and Contemporary Thought. Now, a chair of a department is a very prestigious position. It means that fellow academics in that department agreed or they voted or they appointed you to be their leader of the department. It's very different from being 
the chair of a club or the chair of some center. You know, at my school, I founded a, a philosophy of religion club. We could have called it the philosophy of religion center, and I could have been the chair. But to be the chair of an academic department is much different. Ravi called himself chair of the department at Alliance. And I contacted Alliance, and they don't have departments. And then I began investigating more, and I called the human resources director there, and she got Ravi's file out. She probably should not have done this, but she did, uh, because those are presumably confidential. Ravi was an employee of the seminary, and they shouldn't just let journalists um, know what's in his personal file. She told me that Ravi really wanted a particular title. He wanted his title to have the word contemporary thought. He wanted to be a professor, not just of evangelism, but of evangelism and something a little more intellectual, com contemporary thought. And somehow, even though this, this human resources director told me, even though the president of the school did not want Ravi to have this title, contemporary thought, he used it. He got it. I don't know how. She didn't know how. But the, the point here is that even in his earliest stages of his career, Ravi was lobbying for his public image, even going against the college president's wishes. Right. So I think that's a, a revealing part of who he was and the fact that he simply made up a department. And I sat with Ravi at dinner a couple of years ago, just me and Ravi and one of the lawyers from his ministry. And I asked him, you said you were the chair of a department. There are no departments at that school. And he looked at me and he said, Steve, it was a, it, it was a center. And I said, yes, and you said it was a department. And he had this very intense look of anger come across his face. And it was the first time I really understood his the, what how a narcissist who's being challenged reacts can react with tremendous anger. Ravi was very upset that I was pointing out that what he described as a department was merely a center. A center is a much less prestigious thing. Um, but he did that anyway. He he spent his whole life saying that uh, in his writings that he chaired a department when they never existed. So uh, that's where his uh, peddling of lies began, right? I, I don't know when the when his general um, fabrications began, but that's the earliest uh, credential um, misrepresentation I can document. Okay. 